All right, you guys want to know about this belt. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things and today we're going to be taking a look at my range belt setup that you guys have been asking me a ton of questions about. The belt itself is coming from my friends out at Safe Life Defense and you have seen me check out some of their other products here on the channel before. They currently offer two different models, a classic duty style belt and then this tack belt which is the one that we're going to be taking a look at today. Now I want to preface this video just by saying that I am not a police officer and the type of work that I do does not require me to wear a belt like this in my normal day to day life. That does not mean however that I have not found a very good use for this belt so I will get into a little bit more of that later. Now if you guys have never seen a duty belt or a range belt or a war or battle belt, whatever you want to call it, it's fairly simple and can be broken down into a few different parts. First up we're going to take a look at the inner belt and on this specific model it comes with a 2 inch width with hook and loop closure. The inner belt is constructed out of a 2 inch piece of heavy duty high quality nylon and it is held together with a hook and loop velcro closure. This works perfectly with my pretty average jeans that I wear almost every single day and I actually have no problem fishing that 2 inch webbing through my belt loops. The end of the belt that you are threading through your loops is actually tapered as well so I can put this thing on just as easy as I would any other belt. Once that is in place nice and secure, you will find loop velcro all around the outside of the inner belt. That is where the outer belt comes in, which is also constructed out of a heavy duty nylon scuba webbing. This is also two inches in width, which pairs up perfectly with the inner belt. And the front of the outer belt is closed with a genuine Cobra buckle. On the outside of the outer belt, you will find two rows of micro molly webbing. And this makes the belt perfect for carrying pretty much any kind of accessory that you want to throw on here. Now I'm running a pretty simple setup on this belt right now, just a few accessories that I will touch on here in just a little bit. But as you can see, there is still a ton of molly on the outside here where you could mount up anything else that you might want to carry with you. Now I'm actually going to put this thing on and load it up, that way you guys can see a little bit more details about how to put this thing on properly. I'm gonna start off here with the inner belt. As you can see, it has the size and a nice Safe Life Defense logo on the inside. I typically wear between a size 32 and 34 pants, depending on if I am carrying or not. So when I was setting this belt up with a medium belt, as you can see, there is a little bit of room here where there could be some more molly going across. I then switched over to the large size and adjusted it as small as possible, and that actually works best for me. I will show you guys that in more detail once I get this thing put on. So with the inner belt, I will take the tapered end and fish it through my belt loops. As you can see on my average pair of jeans here, it takes up the entire width of this, making this thing feel even more secure. If you're using an inch and a half or even an inch and three quarters, it might have a little bit of wiggle room in there, so the two inch actually works out pretty well for me. I will run this thing all the way around to the front, and now I'm actually going to recommend tucking in your shirt, that way it is not in the way of any of your firearms or mags or anything else that you have on the belt. All right, so my shirt is tucked in. Now I'm going to take the belt, run it all the way through, and make it as snug as possible because this is going to be holding up a lot of weight. Velcro to Velcro, simple as that, just like putting on any other belt. Now I'm going to take the outer belt with all of my accessories on here, and I personally like to start with the left side right up here in the front. I'll simply place this Velcro on Velcro and slowly wrap it around my body, making sure everything is nice, tight, snug, and secure. And then of course buckle it in the front with this nice big cobra buckle. Now in this case with my holster I'm also running a leg strap so I will put that around my leg. And now everything is all secure and I'm ready to go about doing whatever I'm doing. Now back to the sizing, as you can see here on my medium belt, there is a little bit of room here where there is adjustment, but because of this extra room of adjustment, there is no molly on here. So I decided to go up one size and then tighten the large belt all the way down so it's as tight as it possibly can go. And then as you can see, I have molly all the way around from the very front of my buckle here, all the way around to the other side where I have my pistol mag carriers. The sizing may take a little bit of trial and error, but these belts do come with a 30 day satisfaction guarantee. So if you grab a belt and you decide that it is a little bit too big or a little bit too small, you can always return it for a size that is more appropriate for you. Now let's load this thing up real quick, the way you guys have seen it in some previous videos. I have my Glock 17 Gen 5 MOS FS, running a Surefire X300 and a Trigicon RMR. That is running on my right side in a QVO secondary vacuum form holster. This thing is very form fitting and secure and it's almost like a suction when you put the gun inside of there. On the back side I am running a Safari Land QLS system which will stay on the belt just like this. I can remove the gun with the holster whenever I see fit very very easily. 
and then simply click it back into place. And then the leg strap that I'm running with this holster, I bought this as well as the pistol carriers and AR carriers on Amazon, so I will leave links for those in the description down below. Now I've got two fully loaded Glock 17 mags, and then two fully loaded P mags with some 556. So that's it, that is my basic setup that I'm currently using to film my videos. There's a pretty good amount of weight on here, but it is definitely something that the belt can stand up to. There's still a lot more webbing on here and these things are super stiff and sturdy, so I could definitely load this belt out way more than it already is. And I should have no problem with the belt sagging or losing its shape. Now, if you haven't been keeping up with my previous videos, I will roll in some clips right here of me actually using this belt in real time. This thing is super secure. It definitely holds more than I actually need. And it is actually a nice change up for me to be able to holster my gun on the outside of my body rather than appendix style like I normally do. And then it also gives me the functionality of carrying two pistol mags or two AR mags. And the possibilities are pretty much endless depending on what type of attachments I wanna put on here. Now, not only have I been using this belt to help me film videos and make things a little bit easier for me, but I also wore this to a pistol training course this past weekend. Now this will take us into a little bit of the purpose of use for an average person like myself. Over the past year and a half when I was going to a bunch of different pistol training courses, I would typically carry my gun in the same fashion that I do every single day. For the most part that is appendix in waistband with a kydex holster. Now it makes sense to train the way you actually carry so I figured yeah why not do it that way. So training with appendix carry at specific courses and then just doing it in my own free time I started to get very comfortable with it. I eventually got to the point where I'm at now where I am very very comfortable with it. I will still dry fire practice from time to time. If I'm shooting some videos on some specific concealed carry pistols, I will also carry appendix the way I normally do. But when it comes to filming other type of content, whether I am at a training course or I'm carrying or reviewing a big heavy gun like this, carrying just inside my waistband for videos like that does get a little bit taxing after a while. So now that I've switched everything over to this Safe Life belt, it definitely makes my life a lot easier. When I'm getting ready to film a video, I can simply load up the belt while having the inner belt on holding my pants up. And then I'll drive out to my range, get everything all set up and ready, and then simply throw all of my gear right on side with the outer belt right over top of the inner belt. Then I have my gun, light, optic, any accessories that I might have, different types of magazines on each side. It just makes my life when filming these videos a lot easier, but it can also be applied to other people's lives as well. Maybe you're police officer and you're using some old worn out leather belt, something like this would be a very good option to replace something like that, especially if you're wearing it every single day. If you're on your shift like normal, you have your belt on with all of the gear and everything that you typically carry with you, and then you get off for the day, you simply go into your locker room or wherever you change. You take this outer belt off, and then you can throw your big belt with all of your supplies and everything on it in your trunk and a locker, and then just go on about your day. If you're running a setup like this and you wanna run this holster in a bag or something that you're carrying, you can simply take it right off the belt, stick it in a bag, and then when you go back into work, you take it out of your bag, slip it right back on the belt. When I went out to that training course last weekend, it made my life really easy because I simply woke up in the morning, put on all of my stuff like normal, but instead of my normal belt, I threw on the inside of the Safe Life belt. That way when I got to the range, I had my belt loaded up in the back seat. I simply put this thing on like I just showed you, and boom, I was ready to go for the whole day. At the end of the training day, take this thing off and it's just as simple as that. So if you're in a field where you wear a belt like this every day, I don't really need to tell you why it is important to have a nice, sturdy, quality belt like this. Here's a good example of how sturdy this belt actually is. This is the way the belt ships. It's basically like a two by four. It's super stiff and sturdy. There is really no flex to it. It is not going to sag when you put a lot of gear on here. And then of course, when you take it off, it still retains its shape as long as you put it back together the way that you took it off. It's just a very clean design. It can make your life easier and it actually makes my life a lot easier even though I typically don't wear a belt like this every day. So this is my belt setup that you guys were asking me a lot about. If you guys want more specs or detailed info about sizing, make sure you click that link in the top of the description. And other than that, that's all that I really have for this belt. Chances are you will be seeing it a lot more in some upcoming videos, whether it's training or Sunday gun days. Like I said, I never really had a use for a duty belt like this, but I am glad that I have it now because it makes my life so much easier. So big thanks to the guys at Safe Life Defense for sending this belt out for me to test. I also have two more of these belts that are in the size medium, and I probably will not end up using these, so I think I should give these away to one of you. So if you check out that sizing chart and you think one of these will fit you, all you have to do to enter is go over to my Instagram and find the picture of me wearing this belt. Slap a like on that photo, tag a friend in the comments, and follow Safe Life Defense as well on Instagram. I will pick a winner at the end of next week and then I will send out a new belt to you. 
Now I believe that is really all that I had for today. So if you are new to this channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every week and that's gonna be all for today. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you in the next one.